Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dial R's Twi'lek Tactics. We're doing another Hell Arena PvP prep video. This is one we're going to be focusing on summoners. Now, summoners used to be the dominant faction in this game, hands down, you know, no questions asked. But then they slowly, they started giving us uh, heroes that countered them. And then with the addition of Jaina and Nord, energy could already kind of soft counter them. But with the addition of Jaina, it just hard countered summoners hard and people have kind of forgotten that they're actually very very good so we're gonna do our best to try to uh prove that they are still somewhat meta in pvp now let's go uh if you guys have been to seen my other videos you know that we're just gonna go to my friends list i've learned a couple tricks i've heard a lot of feedback on some of my videos people tend to like them so we're gonna keep going i figured out how to navigate these uh the, when the swords disappear so uh, we won't have to be constantly popping back and forth in between screens. Now, let's start at the bottom. We're going to go against my buddy Venom. And we're going to switch over to the PvP Summoner team. Okay. Okay, so let's talk about the team. So normally in a 3v3 setting, I don't run Summoners. I steal Dorley for another team. I steal Rez for another team. But if you can make it to the upper tiers in Hell Arena then you're gonna have to come up with four teams. And in that case, if I make it there, then I will bring back the summoners and I'll rearrange some of the other teams. So first of all, let's check out my commander. Uh, ideally you want plus two alt Dan, plus one all skills, Ampu, plus two alt Dorley. And uh, I don't know if you want all skills Sorv or plus two alt Sorv, but if you can get a commander like that, you're rolling. Now, Sorvely, I have her in a rebirth set for increased healing since we don't have any healer on this team. Uh, HP and then accuracy, HP. Dan, I do got Dan in a light gap set. Now, if you got the resonant set, uh, you want to run that because it gives you more energy off the hop, but uh, uh, they're hard to come by because the drop rates are horrendous in that dungeon. So for PVP purposes, PVP purposes, I got him in a hero in a light gap. Obviously with Dan, you know the drill, attack, 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 and as much attack and HP secondaries as possible. Damage reduction helps him, but really only defense and HP go to his summons. And Pooh, again, same story. You want him in resonant. You want him in a resonant set for the highest, or to add uh, to your accuracy and your uh, initial energy off the, off, the, off the hop. If you don't have one, then light gap set will work. Keep in mind, you want to keep that accuracy really, really high. So I got accuracy 100 on the helm. Uh, attack on the boots, attack on the hands, and then accuracy and attack substats where you can shoot for 250 total accuracy on your Ampu. Res, again, resonant. If you got a resonant set, uh, you see the, the resonant just uh, just overtakes light gap in, in, in if you, but it's the problem is, is that the sets are really hard to come by, whereas light gap is really easy to come by. Light gap and uh, vigorous, HP, HP, damage reduction. And then Dorley, currently Herald is still bugged, so there's only really one way you want to run Dorley, and that is in all uh, vigorous sets, HP, HP, HP. Now, when it comes to prototypes, obviously Dominant Nucleus, it, 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 there is no substitution for Dominant Nucleus. Sorry. And Ruler's Ring, no substitution on a, on a sub, well, you can, if you don't have Ruler's Ring, you can run this one, which is the baby yellow version of Ruler's Ring. But if you got Ruler's Ring, if you've made it past Twilight 15, this last iteration, then you got a copy, you can start building it. And then there's a couple different choices. I like this one because it helps heal um, my team, but you can also run this uh, Beetle or this one as well. Um, whichever one you feel best running. I kind of like this one because they're gonna get crit uh, and as such, they're gonna recover uh, HP. Okay, so my buddy Venom here. This is gonna be a punch down. So this is the, that's the old summoner team versus the new summoner team. Durali really kind of capped off uh, the summoner team. Now let's watch what happens when a Durali meets an Oisa. Remember, Doragon cannot be stunned, but Ampu is stunned because Oisa will 
stun someone when they first hit her. So Oisa's down. They've lost Oisa. I still have everyone up. You know, Ampu is stunned. Come on, Ampu. Go. Ampu is just spending the whole time stunned. But their team is starting to fall apart. Uh, who did we kill? Ampu's still up. So it looks like we killed Rez and Oisa. And now Doragon, who cannot be pushed back, is pushing the line back. And we've lost Rez, unfortunately, but they lost Ampu. Dan, now it's over. So if you do have Doraly, if you're lucky enough, you got really good pulls on your Doraly, um, you have an advantage over a summoner team. And see how my, my, my swords are gone? Apparently all I gotta do is hit this button. Receive gift and they pop back up. Okay, Karaz. Now Karaz, uh, he's 5.4 team. This is uh, Vanguard with Wamagon and Nord. So it's kind of a hybrid energy tank Vanguard team. You're not gonna see this kind of team in PVP most likely, because it's just pulling from three different teams. But let's just see how a summoner team does against a basically super amalgamation of three different teams. Crete's about to die, but uh, Wamagon and Nord, both really high sustainability and survivability. Now Leo's dead. Uh, we haven't lost anybody, but Rez will die the next time that Nord ults, which is right now. So there we go, we just lost, lost Rez. And now it's just a damage race. Door gone back out, and boom, and there goes Nord. So what's really nice about Dorgon as well, you're gonna see this throughout the fights, is that he cannot be whacked by uh, uh, Wamagon. Wamagon can't move him. Dorgon is immune to CC. You cannot knock him down, you cannot knock him back, you cannot stun him. Dorgon's gonna be doing his thing the entire time, which makes him an uber super tank that is very, very useful in so many situations. So the thing is with Wamagon though, is he is really, really beefy and we did have to push through him, but we did beat him. Again, keep in mind that you're not gonna see a team like that in PVP. All right, let's go up the list. Okay, so this is like a hodgepodge uh, tank energy team. So one thing that people used to do back in the day was put Queet on their tank team um, to try to counteract summoners because Queet will jump to the, wherever on the map has the most enemies. There you go, he's jumping to the back, but Queet's really, really squishy. Um, you kind of got to combo it so that uh, Panda does his alt right when Queet jumps to a back line. This team, you're probably not going to see in PvP, but I figured I would just show you. Again, Nord's annoying. He, he keeps sucking in um, everybody. But then uh, with the... Uh, you can just kind of DPS Nord down. You don't got to worry. He's annoying, but manageable outside of an energy team. There we go. Moving on up. Salty Dog. Okay, so we're not going to... That's a complete hodgepodge team. We're not even going to run it. Uh, now, Idle. Idle is running, again, Idle is running uh, Summoners. With Rez paired with Dan, but he does have Nord. So let's see how this goes. It's probably gonna go just fine. Nord's probably just gonna get nuked down. There you go. It's one of the problems with running Nord frontline on a summoner team is that he is wide open to be nuked. And Ampu's dead, and the team just crumbles. They're just gonna surround and murder. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Okay, there you go, Idol. There's your uh, five minutes of fame. Okay, Jake Sonyu. Jake is running. Okay, here we go. This is a good fight. So we got good vanguards with Rez paired with Jaina. So Jaina is the anti summoner. But can she pack enough punch outside of an energy team? Let's find out. Doragon, that stun off the beginning is is excellent. Um, you know, just you see there, Barog is hanging in there. He's hanging in there. I'm trying to find where my Ampu is on the map. Where where is my Ampu? He's still alive. There, oh, he's <laughs> Barog 
threw him to the back line. So there we go, done. Uh, again, Barag chucking Jane, or you know, keep in mind Jane is in the back line, and Barag flipped Ampu to the back where he just nuked Jaina. So Jaina got one alt off, but then was otherwise uh, uh, ineffective. Okay, Darkology, often what I consider one of the best tank teams on my uh, in my alliance and on my server cluster. If my summoners can beat his tank team, then they should be able to beat any tank team with double healer. Keep in mind, he's running Miranda instead of someone like uh, Bada or Loran. Probably not going to run Miranda on here in a Hell Arena, Summit Arena type setting, but let's see how it goes. I have tested this against him many times. I have lost once in a blue moon. Usually it depends on if where Rez goes. So if Rez rolls right into the middle and then gets caught up in the pandemonium mayhem uh then this battle can go south but uh you kind of gotta roll the dice uh because uh this team is very effective against the double heal triple tank team because again you see doragon gets right up in their face and they cannot move him effectively leaving your summoners outside of the wamagon tail whip of death range there we go, you see Doragon's dead, and now Doragon's doing something really stupid. He's running way, way, way down and around, uh, which means that Wamagon is now clear to do some bad, bad things to us. Luckily, oh, here we go. So I was gonna say, luckily some of my summons are keeping Wamagon at bay. Uh, there you go, put some deer around him, but now he's going after uh, Rez, which is uh, no bueno. We kind of need Rez, he's the battery of this team. Miranda's gone. Okay, there we go. Now Panda's finally gone. We did, we were able to hold the Wamagon uh, destruction chain at bay. Oh, but, but now, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, push him back, push him back. Good, good, keep him away from us. So that was really weird how Doragon kind of went around and kind of got out of the field because I kind of want all my summons to line up with all of the tanks. So if Wamagon gets a whack off here, he can kill. Okay, so he can kill my Ampu in one shot. Kill him, please. Still didn't kill him. Okay, there, we finally killed him. But he is gonna kill my Ampu with his tail whip. See? So that's a loss. Like I said, this, it, it, it can go different ways. We're gonna run that one more time because it doesn't happen often. Uh, but we're just gonna fast forward just to show you that it can win. There, see, win. Let's try it one more time. Oh, defeat. All right. Okay. Keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. Moving on up. Uh, what does Irand run? Uh, okay, Irand's got uh, a typical... Uh, we're not even going to fight this. It's a 2.7 million team. That's that's not going to teach you anything. Kung Fu. Kung Fu. Okay. Let's try this. This is an old school um, lineup with summoners. Uh, Sorvali up front because she will jump back. But then Nord, which kind of leaves Nord to start tanking. But this uh, is not going to go well. You see Dorgon just jumped out there, slammed um, his Sorvali, stunned her. And now she died, Nord died, and now they're all going to die. Dropping a bear on Rez's head so that he can hold off the Ampu train. It's kind of beneficial to actually for them to kill Doragon because then he immediately comes out, uh, slams and stuns. So he's gonna slam Ampu, stun him, allowing me to get uh, a little bit of a reprieve to get up close and do what I need to do. Da -da -da -da. That was Kung Fu. Zoso, okay. 
So here's a typical energy team. Zoso has, uh, he puts a Dora Lee on his energy team, which I do as well when I'm just 3v3 and I'm not 4v4. Uh, four teams versus four teams. I just say, let's see how this goes. Uh, this should just mean Jaina dies. Or I mean, th this should still be an instant death for me. But the problem is that it's leaving Nord out front, um, kind of exposed. And as you see, we did kill him. So now it's putting all the pressure on Jaina to hold this team up. And I do believe Jaina's dead. So you gotta be careful with uh, putting your Nord up front on your energy teams because uh, y y the summoner team can dish out a lot of damage really fast. So that was Zoso Exrelent. All right, so this is uh, another different variation on, a, on an energy team. He has, this is probably a sacrificial Jaina team. He's running Jaina up front. I think I prefer Nord pulled back to midline just to keep him a little bit safer. But let's see if, uh, th if this goes with Miranda. She's gonna ult us twice. It should just completely annihilate us. So there's her death and there she went again. You see the team still up. We did lose Sorvali and he lost Nord and Jaina. So the sacrificial Jaina was not enough to kill my summoners outright. And that's another win against energy. I'm telling you guys, Doralee has turned the summoner team back into a force to be reckoned with. All right, so Ludenick is running um, the tank team, which is the anti-hunter tank team. You put Barag on there. <clears throat> the purpose is Barag is supposed to grab a hunter and pull him in. We showcased this when I did my tank video. So let's see how the anti-hunter tank variation uh, holds up against the summoners. You see Barag grabbed Sorvali, but the summoners were able just to kind of nuke Barag, and he's going to die here now. He just did his last ultimate, which didn't do a whole lot. And now Barag is dead. And we got Sorvali in the back line, which is actually kind of hindering the tank team because it's turned their focus backwards. Sorvali's running backwards, hopping away, taking Panda with him. And I think we just killed, yeah, we just killed Wami as well. And now we're coming in uh, on their rear and we're just gonna drop a big old bear on their head and kill him dead. So a, a thing to learn from this is if you are gonna run an anti, like if you're gonna run Barog on your tank team, it, it can still suffer from summoners. Um, and uh, I'd say that Hunt, if you put Rhyzerus on that team, it's probably better, but then you can't run a hunter team if you got Rhyzerus on your tank team. All right, what's tennis running? Uh, this is uh, no Wami. We're not, we're not even going to attempt that. That's probably a waste of time. Okay, here we go. So this is Dockley, 5.3. Um, he has Rhyzerus in the back line, though. Um, so let's see if a summoner team, and keep in mind he does run Emma on his hunter team. So let's see how effective Rhyzerus is when she's uh, on the back line and not able to hit my uh, summoners as easily. Let's see if it still holds up. So you see Doragon in the back line. And I do love when they do kill him because then I summon another one. He comes gonna right, he's gonna come right back in and he's gonna do another slam. They are very, very effectively holding off my team. There I lost Rez, because Rez was in the Rhyzerus kill zone. And now they killed my Sorvali. Now they killed my Doralee. So let's see if this Rhyzerus can finish him off. She did. Okay, so. Hunters are still effective against summoners. Yeah, kill us. Just finish this off.
Good to know. I like to see the hunters being strong. All right, Dockley. Okay. Cuddle. Cuddle, cuddle. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's show you Assassins. This is the Assassin PvP team. I have showcased this off. This is a 5.6 million team versus my 4.9. It's not going to make a difference. Summoners, if they're a hard counter to anything, it is Vanguards and Assassins. Why? Because the Assassins are just going to kill Summons. They're going to focus all their ultimates on the Summons. They're just going to leave my Summoners alone. And Ampu's just going to kill them all. We're going to leave Dominic for last. Ba-boom. And then they are dead. So if you run into some uh, assassin teams, uh, summoners are your go-to. But you've seen them kill a lot, actually. You've seen them kill energy teams. You've seen them kill tank teams. Uh, they're, they're still quite, quite good. Uh, quite, quite fun to play, too. So this is an energy team with Leo. So Leo can definitely, he, he will definitely improve any energy team. And, and why is because he's just going to spin right through to my back line. Unless we kill him twice. Actually, we got to kill him three times, but he's stuck. Leo is stuck. And there goes Jaina. Who did Jaina kill? Nobody. So Dorgon went out. Oh, now, now we're losing people. Not yet, though. We still have a fighting chance. Oh, look at that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. A Leo energy team gets picked off by summoners. Would you look at that? All right, so this is Assassins with Wami. We're not going to even do that one. You know, it's just going to roll over it. Toro, what's Toro running? That is your classic Vanguard team. Again, we're going to, Summoners will roll over that. Is that Juju? Okay. So here we go. So this is an anti-summoner comp. You see he has Rhyzeris on the team with his three tanks and Miranda. So watch how quickly I get annihilated now. Rhyzeris, well protected. Can't get to her. So there we just, we just killed her once. She does have two revives. Here she's coming again, and she's gonna ult me again. We're probably gonna lose Ampu. But we are gonna do this fight over again. I wanna show you guys a little, uh, what could be a little trick. Rhyzeris is gonna go, oh, is she, yep, she is gonna go off. So they are gonna destroy us now. Uh, Rhyzeris on this volley is gonna kill everybody. We'll just, we'll just end it because they're gonna kill us. One thing though, we're gonna re, we're gonna refight this, but we're gonna move Ampu there. Why? Because this will put Ampu in range of Rhyzeris, and we can possibly stun lock her. So positioning is important if you're gonna go up against a team like this. So there you go. See, Ampu just stun locked uh, their Rhyzeris, and with and with Ampu going over and over and over again, uh, we can just uh, keep her effectively unlocked but uh, we are in the danger zone because once she goes off she's going to be targeting Ampu so let's see if this makes any difference in the outcome of the fight see like Rhyzeris hasn't gone once now she's finally getting off her ultimate now she's dead now she's well since she was immune no oh, no see there we go she still killed us all right, so what did you learn from this? If you guys want to make your tanks more uh, summoner-proof, put Rhyzeris in the midline.
All right, what's Kingslayer running? This is a hodgepodge team. We're, we're not even gonna show you that. You're not gonna learn anything from that. Exodus, again, hodgepodge. You're not gonna learn any from anything from that, nor will you see a team like that in arena. Uh, Sir Nick, uh, Hunter team. Okay, Hunter team with Leo. This should be, oh, this is definitely gonna be a win for the Hunter team, but I just wanna show it off. The Hunters are just gonna destroy me. Again with Miranda, uh, Rizeris has, you gotta kill her three times. Three times. So we lost Doralee, so we lost all of our frontline protection. And now Rizeris is just gonna pick us off and melt us. Yeah, there we go. Just losing, and yeah, we're done. We're done. We're done, bud. We're done. We're done. Okay. Yeah, we're done. All right. Hellfire. So let's try this. So Hellfire, this is going to be a mirror match. This is going to be a punch down. You see that he does have only a level 45 Enlighten, but he is running the same prototypes. I can't tell you what level his prototypes are, but um, I can't see what his gear is either but let's just run the mirror match for poops and giggles don't do this in arena just use your energy team to counter the summoners but let's see who's let's see whose team is better okay I'll, i already know that my Dorgon is uh or his his dorley is not x30 because dorley did not immediately summon uh, a new Dorgon like that one just did and then we come on in and we stun them all We just killed his Doralee and his Sorvali in one blow. He just sent Rez flying. But boom, Doragon comes in, drops the people's elbow, kills Ampu. We're over. So that, uh, if you want to learn anything from that one, um, X30 Doralee is actually quite good for PvP. Grimlock Energy. So this is a 5.7 energy team. I want you to see what a real energy team will do to these um, uh, summoners. Except, whoa, where did his Nord go? This is kind of interesting, folks. So Nord's dead. But with Wamagon being on the team, Okay, so, yeah, yeah, we're, we are gonna beat him. Huh. That's nuts. That is, that is cr crazy. We That was a huge, huge punch up. Okay, and what, what lesson do we wanna learn from here? Don't put your Nord up front. He's just gonna get nuked. If anything, we're really showing off um, summoners today. Okay, so this is a another a tank team with, uh, he's got Barag up front. This shouldn't make a difference. We should just be able to nuke. So that Doralee slam, you see, really slowed Barag down. Again, my Ampu is now in their back line, causing havoc because my Rez is still targeting them. So now <laughs> I'm able to hit everything with my Ampu. It's really quite uh, hilarious to watch. But we did lose Rez. We did lose Rez. And their Ampu is actually hanging in there. We have lost Dorley as well. So this actually could be a loss. Yeah, we lost Ampu. This is actually gonna be a loss. All right, so Bar Barog can do good things. Uh, let's try that again. Let's try moving Ampu over here and see if he still gets picked up, or if he get if Barog's gonna grab Rez. Let's see who he, who he grabs. So no, he did grab Ampu. That's pretty cool to see. So Barog once again the disruptor. Have we? Okay, but this time we killed his Barog. So now, 
they're getting they're getting peppered on both sides by oh oh ooh, oh but Wamagon just killed Ampu and it's over. You lose Ampu, your fight's done. So very nice. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, Melaniac, energy again. He's got Nord up front, but he is running Flowing Rune. So let's see if we can just uh, pile down his Nord again. Yeah, much, much better. You see my Sorvel, he's dead. His Nord, though, is dead. His Miranda's dead. And now we still won. Crazy, we're, we're crazy. We're, we're, I think our win rate on energy is higher than our loss rate. And now, Palvir, Palvir. So, oh, oh, pals. Uh, Pal is my resident assassin uh, aficionado, but he switched to the uh, Rhyzeris tank comp, which I also recommend. Uh, it's probably gonna destroy us. We're just gonna fast forward and we're gonna end it there. Oh, and, and we got a victory. Um, Okay, how did that happen? Let's 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 play that again. Okay, so what I'm seeing is what's different here is uh, he's not running Miranda, right? So Rizeris does not pack the same punch. Yeah, so we killed. Oh yeah, see, Rizeris did not do anything on that comp because she, she didn't have a Miranda healer. So I'm gonna have to recommend to Pal that he switch this up uh, because that's definitely what's going on there. Look at that, the whole front line of tanks is just being peppered with summons. Zeta's dead. Doragon coming in there, just slamming everybody, keeping the CCs down. Between Ampu, Dan, and Doragon, there's just so much CC on this team. And now it looks like, yep, there goes Wami. Panda's gonna fall very, very quickly. Sor or Serena's dead. And now Panda's dead. All right, lesson learned from this. In 1v1, though, put Miranda on your team. In 3v3, though, let's go look at I want to look at Dark's team real quick. Did Dark have Miranda? He did. Okay. So that's the difference. We didn't beat uh, Dark's team. We only beat it, like, what, one out of three, I think? Or one out of four? Or was it two out of four? I can't remember. But he does have Miranda. He's, you're probably not going to see Miranda in Hell Arena. So, ladies and gentlemen... That's it. I would say that that was a spectacular showing by the Summoner team, showing you just how good they still are. We, except for Hunters, we beat almost everything, <laughs> at least once. And surprisingly, we beat a lot of energy teams because Doragon is a, a huge disruptor. So if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, put them down in the comments below. Till next time, ladies and gentlemen, take care. Cheers, peace, bye-bye.